Hello ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just going to be a quick piece of advice on how to handle when your regulars deviate from their usual plan when they come in. So what I mean by this is, you know, let's say you have um, regular that comes in and does a certain amount of dances or VIP rooms or maybe just gives you a certain amount of money or whatever. And they usually don't deviate from that. But I find that sometimes customers will try to test you and that they will deviate from this plan just to see how you will react. And let's just say, let's just use an example of, let's say you have a guy that comes in that does like three rooms every time he comes in. And, you know, let's say, okay, one night he decides to only do one. And this is the first time he's ever done this to you. The best way to handle this type of situation is never to be triggered by it. Do not let this man know that you are frustrated, pissed off, or confused, or whatever. The best way to handle this is just to be nonchalant and to make it known to him that you don't need him or his money. And as soon as you walk out that door, you are going to find somebody else that's going to pay you, okay? Because the worst thing you can do, and I see this happen a lot, is girls will sit with these with their regulars after they're done you know, doing their rooms or lap dances and they will sit there with them and not get paid for it. Okay, I'm sorry, if you and your customer's transaction is over with and he's not giving you more money to sit there on the floor with him and talk or do whatever, then you need to move on and find somebody else immediately. Especially if he does this and tries to pull this fast one on you by like deviating from his plan, like, normal plans, I feel like that's a test and you should immediately start talking to other customers because what's going to happen is he's going to see this and realize that, okay, dang, she didn't really care. So maybe, you know, I should have kept her back there like I normally do. You know, the best thing for you to do is not to wait around with him and, you know, um, sit there for free and, you know, and act desperate, the best thing for you to do is to immediately go talk to somebody else. Even if it's not uh, somebody you think you're going to make money from, even just pretend to pretend like you're busy because what will end up happening is he will see this if he ends up, you know, still hanging out at the club. And usually he will end up <laughs> asking you to go back and do another room or do more lap dances because once he sees that you are wanted by other people it's kind of like reverse psychology a little bit but you know a lot of girls make this mistake and they just you know hang out and just expect like okay maybe you know he'll want to go back after maybe he needs like a break and you know we'll go back in a little bit or something no guarantee nine times out of ten that will not happen if you do that so your best bet is to immediately go talk to somebody else pretend like you're busy even if you're not just act like you are and i guarantee when he comes back to find you or you guys like accidentally meet up or bump in it into one another he will see this these guys are watching okay so they see what you're doing and they're you know so um also, if you do run into him again, and I always like to um, pretend like I got distracted. So I don't, you know, I like to pretend that, oh, you know, I'm so sorry. I got really distracted. I got really busy and I thought you left. Okay. Always act nonchalant like you're just busy, distracted. You got a lot going on, you know. Um, and make sure you say, well, I thought you left. Because again, that lets him know that you're not looking, you're not looking for him. You're not like worried about what he's doing and stuff. And I guarantee if you, you know, say those lines and you do it that way, that you will 
get him to go back and finish what he normally does. Okay. Like I said, these guys sometimes like to test us. Um, it's stupid, but just something that they do. And, um, you know, you can't wait around, you know, I don't care if this man spends thousands of dollars on you in the club. If he's not spending money on you at that second, you guys aren't booked for a room. You're not doing lap dances. You're not on stage entertaining him. You, your time should not be for free. Okay, ladies. So if you have any further questions, feel free to leave it down below. And also I'd like to let you ladies know that I do have an Instagram. I'm going to leave my handle um, in the description box too. You can follow me at effortlessly Egypt as well. So we will see you in the next video.